Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss what makes the Canadian constitution distinct. A constitution of any country is the sanctity of fundamental rules and principles, which governs the whole country. To govern the country properly and orderly, the constitution creates many of the governmental institutions and their branches and defines their power, duty and liability. So, in this video, I will be discussing the salient but distinct features of the Canadian Constitution. However, there are many more salient features of the Canadian Constitution. But remember, here I am discussing largely the distinct features which are unique and rare in other countries. However, before coming to the salient features, let's have a brief historical background of the Canadian Constitution. Canada was created by an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom known as the British North America Act 1867. At present, it is known as the Constitution Act 1867. The Act united the British colonies of the United Province of Canada, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Next, likewise the Supreme Law of Canada, that is the Constitution, is constituted of the Constitution Act 1867 and the Constitution Act 1982. Next, the Constitution of Canada is one of the newest constitutions. Though it sounds weird, but it was patriated from the United Kingdom very recently, that is in 1982. Primarily, Canada was the self-governing British colony and the British North America Act 1867 codified the constitutional rules for Canada. However, the Charter of 1982, enacted as the part of the Constitution of Canada that empowered that the Constitution can be amended in Canada. Next, Constitutional Monarchy. In Canada, the Queen has the executive power. However, the Queen exercises her powers under the Constitutional Convention, that is, on the advice of ministers who enjoy the confidence of the House of Commons. Queen is represented by the Governor General. Next, the Department of Justice. In Canada, the Minister of Justice is responsible for the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice provides legal services such as drafting laws and providing legal advice to the government and its departments. Next, bizuralism. That is, Canada is a bizural country. That means it has both the common law system and the civil law system. Matters of private law in Quebec are governed by the civil law, while the common law applies in other provinces. Last but not the least, in Canada, the Aboriginal people have separate and distinct government. The Constitution Act includes protection for the rights of the Aboriginal people namely Indian, Inuit, and Métis of Canada. Section 35 of the Constitution Act recognizes and affirms Aboriginal rights, which are rights related to the historical occupancy and use of the land by Aboriginal people. This provision is made to help the Aboriginal people and preserve their customs and traditions for future generations as continuing cultural practices. Section 35 also recognizes and affirms treaty rights, which are specifically set out in agreements between the Crown and the particular groups of Aboriginal people. It was all about the distinct features of the Canadian Constitution. Thank you for watching.